All right, and we are here at Cedar Point. It is the middle of October. I think it's October 13th, and we are here at Cedar Point. I'm here with Nathan once again. You guys can say hi to him down in the comments. It's a Thursday night. We're gonna be really seeing the shows and the scares that we have not seen here at Cedar Point. I've seen them, but Nathan has not. So we're gonna go check them out. Uh, you'll kind of get an outsider's perspective tonight, and um, I'm excited to kind of see what his take is. So I hope you're ready. I hope you're excited. Let's go. Okay, so we are not into the park yet, uh, but you can actually get on the app. Nathan has been able to get on the app um, here. So it must be, you know, fairly close to the front entrance, um, but I wasn't quite sure when you could actually get the ride times. Here, it looks like in the parking lot, you're good. Now, we are here today to definitely see shows, but then also to ride some rides. Riding rides is gonna be our secondary priority. So the very first thing to do is to check out the app. When is everything going to be taking place uh, as far as the shows go? Opening ceremonies is happening next, but our first thing is gonna be going to Coaster's Diner. We've got about five minutes to go grab some food and it looks like there's no line. So it'll be nice and fast and then we can go hit the opening ceremonies, right? after that. All right, so we've got burger, fries, onion rings, and um, we're headed over to the opening ceremonies right now. <laughs> so let's go. So we're over here. We can watch the show from over here. Honestly, this is a really easy show to watch from far away also, but we've got some nice little places to grab some food here at the uh, picnic tables for the, uh, the, the food trucks that are around here. Mr. Midnight is kind of the namesake character for Halloween weekends this year. And there are a couple fun things that they do for it. Okay, I steered us wrong. We went to, the shadow is on my face. Um, <laughs> we went to uh, the back of the park. This is not the place where you wanna be on a Thursday night, not right away anyway. Right now we're still waiting on the haunts and the scares and the shows to start, which means we should be up at the front of the park because everyone is back here trying to hit the big name rides while they're still waiting for, um, for the shows and the haunts to start. So we need to go do some other things. So we're on our way back up to the front of the park, but we're gonna hit a bar on the way, grab something to drink. All right, so we are here at Trail Tavern, the name I can never remember. Um, and we are going to grab a drink here uh, tonight. Of course, what else would I do? All right, so I got my usual, delicious as always. How is yours? I got my usual. Jack and Coke. Jack and Coke. There's a fairly empty night here, at least for the rock band here. Um, usually on Saturdays, 
This is completely full. But the walkway does have a lot of people walking through here. Right now we are headed to Val Raven. It says a 15 minute wait. So we're gonna see how true that is. If it really is a 15 minute wait or not. Here's a different show than I've seen. So we are on our way into Slaughterhouse right now. How many times are you going to go into Bloodbath today? Oh, probably at least three. <laughs> and this looks like a healthy 10 minute line, maybe 15 minutes. We'll see how long it actually takes. Let's go.
All right, we are right here right now, and the group in front of us is on their way. Um, let's see how long this has taken. It has been a 20 minute wait here for Slaughterhouse. All right, we are on our way into Blood on the Bayou. It is very, very full, and I think you are supposed to stay on the left side the entire way in and on the entire way out. That doesn't happen though, because we are all stubborn. And uh, I'm joining the crowd because I'm one of the sheeple. So let's go. All right, so Blood on the Bayou or what's the other one called? Slaughterhouse? Slaughterhouse. Which one's best? Blood on the Bayou had probably better scares, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, I actually agree, but it might be because of the girls that were right in front of us. Yes. There are more elements of surprise. I feel like the slaughterhouse was too well lit and just, okay. you, could, you could see what was coming. Okay. There were some girls right in front of us in Blood and Bayou that were scared of everything to the point of paralysis. Like every time someone would come up to them, they'd stop and they'd cower. And uh, that's the best way to make people choose you over and over and over again. Now, we have the choice between two shows right now. Um, one is the murder mystery musical and the other is going back toward the shrieks. We're gonna choose the shrieks because we may be able to hit a haunted house once again along the way and because it's more flexible. Um, we don't have to be there early. We don't have to be there late um, in order to get where it needs to be. We don't need to find a seat. We don't have to stay. Um, so we're gonna head toward the shrieks right now. Go check that one out. Well, things are kind of at their peakiest. <laughs> and then once we're done with that, um, things will kind of start cooling down a little bit more this evening at about 10 o'clock. Um, so that's going to help us get a few more things done faster, especially the haunted houses. We are headed up to the front to go get a drink, actually. I don't think we're going to hit another haunted house because we don't know how long those lines are going to be, um, and we'll have some time after this show uh, for us to continue hitting some additional haunted houses or rides or whatever we want to hit. Um, definitely our priority is the haunted houses because Nathan and his kids just came. We rode everything um, that night. Uh, you can check that out in the link down below if you'd like to. Um, that was definitely a fun night of hitting everything and the kids got to do it for the very first time. These people are scaring a lot of people and I'm glad they're scaring them. They're just not getting me tonight. Um, <laughs> probably because I'm too busy talking to y'all. All right, so Nathan, what'd you think? I know it's been a couple things ago, but what'd you think of the Fantastics? Almost like a cover band for classic rock. Yeah. Basic. Basic? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. They're good. They're good. Are they like amazing? No, not really. I wouldn't say amazing, no. Yeah. Like I wouldn't buy separate tickets to go see them. But. Right, but I would stop in and listen to a couple songs. Grab while a you have a drink, yeah. I agree with your assessment. And it's time for a drink. We just saw another stand that had a ton of people on it. But this Yingling stand here has no one in it. So, let's go grab something to drink over here. See what we can find.
What's your assessment? It needs to be more authentic. <laughs> I agree. Listen I suppose I agree. Monsters. I didn't the agree until you said up. it, but so I guess I agree. <laughs>
So what did you think of that last show on a very, very, very dark screen? Uh, it was a very technical show. Worth the scene for sure. Uh, I would say sit in the back so you can actually hear the track. Because it's not if so you, good If you front. get up too, fr too close to the front, it's hard to hear what's going on. But if you don't get up to close to the front, then you can't see as well. So I like it better up front. Agreed. Uh, you can definitely see better at the front. Uh, but sometimes the dialogue is hard to understand. Yeah. So maybe, I agree with maybe that. Maybe if they out of the center channel, maybe improve. But from a technical, technical perspective, it's hard to understand what's going on up here up front. That is the most fun I've ever had in a haunted house. And it was at Erie States. But it was all because of these people right behind us. They were so much fun. Okay, so visit Alyssa here at Back BQ. It was so good. All right, and we are on, on our way to our next thing that we are going to do here at Cedar Point, which is Bloodbath, I think, right? Bloodbath. But I'm sure we'll be able to hit Bloodbath also after Lusty Lil. So we'll see how short of a line it would be. Um, if we need to, we can do some other things, but we'll see what happens. We know we had to hit Bloodbath, and we also had to hit Erie Estates. We also just got another drink because we roll like that. All right, so we are on our way in to Los Dillos right now for a funeral. Whoa, hello! hello! How are you? Wake the Dead, a murder mystery musical. Hello. We are coming in for a good seat today. I better turn off that light. Yeah, you better. You get in trouble. All right, we are here in the uh, murder mystery. Excited to see this. We're gonna see who's guilty of the crime of killing him.
That game show host, his his singing is incredible. And hearing there right at the end, especially the like, say you're happy now. So, he's on the money. It's so good. I absolutely love him in every way. <laughs> All right, and we are on our way back to Bloodbath right now. So let's go check out how this one is doing and what the line may be like tonight. And it looks like pretty much no line for bloodbath. The strobe light's going. It would help. Hello, sir. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. It's 11.37 right now, so how many haunted things can we do in the next 23 minutes? That's the question for the end of the night. Hello. Hi. All right, well, that one was 
Oddly disappointing, despite someone knowing who I was. One of the pirates said, do I know you? I said, you might. He said, do you make YouTube videos? And I apologize for my English accent. I know it's truly abysmal. We are headed to Cornstalkers right now. This is the best time of night, the last half hour, to do everything that you may want to do. So we're gonna hit corn stalkers real fast here. And uh, I think that's the last thing that we need to do except for hexed. So Nathan is gonna miss one this year. But other than that, we've hit every other. And more shows than we normally hit. And more shows than we normally hit in one night, yep. And that's on a Thursday evening, so. Now usually during peak hours of the evening, this is like a two hour line, maybe an hour and a half. Either way, you're spending a lot of time to see a lot of corn. And tonight, we're not spending that amount of time because we're coming in at the very end of the evening. Right, we realized at the 11th hour that we have not yet done the Carnival of Fear, which means that's where we're headed right now. But Dolly Daydream needed to go to the bathroom over here. So <laughs> we gotta wait for him. For just a second. <coughs> We've got seven minutes to go. He better hurry up. Let's go. All right, we've got three minutes. I think if we walk fast, we can make it. And hopefully, even if we're like a minute late, they'll still let us go through. Can we get in on that? All right. He said, last call. We're headed in. Thank you. This way. All right. I'll turn, I'll put it away right now. All right, so going out at the very last for that one, it was incredible. Carnival of Fear was really, really fun. I actually think what made it set apart was we actually had people like ganging up on us, like finishing one spot because we were the very last people to go in. So we, we would finish one last spot and then they'd come back and follow us. And I saw people like, do things like move things that were inanimate objects and just stand there looking like they were still. Um, it was really good. They did a great job with that last one. So maybe lesson learned is go last to some of these if you can, uh, because it just makes it so much more fun. See a meeting of the minds over there. Meeting of the scary people without faces. All right, so out of the last three haunted houses, what was the best one? Probably Erie Estates, just because of the people that were in front of us. I would agree with that. Although, actually, you know what, though? I'm going to do a hot take, and I'm going to say that the Festival of Fear, or Carnival right. of Fear, yeah. That was, that was my highlight. But, again, I don't know that it's because it would normally be. It's because it was different this time. Right. It was, like, yeah, it was, it was people ganged up on us. It was more energetic than usual. And they like put us all through in like individual small groups. Right. So that adds more to it also. For sure. But either way, all of those were pretty good, except for the Pirate. Pirate Cove really yeah, Pirate was. Yeah, the smoke was lacking. Yeah, there was no smoke in there, yeah. And I mean, it's right there on the lake, so it's gonna, it's gonna all blow away, so. Anyway though, that was really fun. We did every haunted house except for Hexed, Hexed, Hexed in, in one night. Yeah. So, on Thursday. yeah, on a Thursday. So if you want to come, like I was kind of thinking, you know, maybe this is a mistake. Maybe it was actually going to be a bad thing that Nathan and I came on tonight since he hasn't been able to do them. Um, but I actually think tonight was like the perfect night because now we did miss one show too. We missed a show. We didn't do many rides. And we didn't do any rides. Yeah, we didn't do any rides. But that's okay. Like, that wasn't what our expectation was. We just did all of the rides with his kids. Um, their first time on the rides. So you guys can check that video out also if you would like to. But we, we had a couple drinks. We had some food, although we never had our snack this evening. We have popcorn, though, in the car. <laughs> anyway, though. <laughs> that's true. Anyway, though, thank you guys so much for watching tonight. We've had so much fun. 
and uh, or at least I have. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, press that subscribe button, press the like button, all that kind of stuff, and let's go.